The storming of the Capitol, capping off what's been a divisive four years in the U.S. And tonight, leaders both national and local are hoping to turn this tragedy into an opportunity to come together. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in Sacramento with the calls for unity. Anna. Yeah, these are emotionally stressful times. And as one local district attorney put it, passions are intensifying. And it's up to people to come together to protect the rule of law. The challenge right now is that leaders really need to lead well. Moving forward after violence described as disgraceful and traumatizing, Sacramento pastors say an America in crisis is an America in need of conversation. We can't uh, pretend that things don't exist. We can't sweep things under the, the rug anymore. UC Davis leadership expert Professor Kimberly Ellsback says the future is about actions, not words. A difference of opinion is a necessary part of democracy. I think having conversations and including those people in policy groups, uh, reaching across the aisle and making and making decisions, it's it, that has to be done. Psychologists say the animosity and hate we often see on display is years in the making. We want to hear what we believe um, and what uh, therefore sustains ourselves. It's divided friends, it's divided families, it's, um, it's made people be really ugly to each other. In a world where COVID-19 has forced us to be separate, Sacramento pastor Rick Cole says he hopes people will keep their minds on community. The more we do something for others, the less it will be about my you know, stand and what I think. Yeah, and this probably comes as no surprise to anybody, but the leaders we spoke to today pointed to social media as a source of hate and misinformation, and they're encouraging people to be careful about what you read. Yeah, good point. Lots of healing to come. Anna, thank you.